Hi, the Technovator here. So today I want to show a few different things about how Trax and Synthroid are going to work together in both the SSP and the XMX. Now most of the things that I am going to talk about today are relevant to both devices. Um, so just bear this in mind. First thing I want to show is how are we going to actually switch between uh, Trax and Synthroid the uh, default application. And so to do this, I've actually created a launcher application. So if you power on the device and you press down one of the buttons, we can actually select which the application that we want to run. So in this example, I've got here, I've got Synthro on button one and Trax on button two. If you don't hold down the button, then it will launch whichever was the last application that you launched. And that's going to work on both the XMX and it's going to also work on the SSP as well in the same way. The next thing I want to show is that uh, tracks will actually run inside uh, Synthor as well. So if we actually come to here and we insert a module, we can actually see that we've got uh, tracks here. Okay. And it looks much the same. Now, obviously works in exactly the same way on the SSP. Uh, this will also be possible on the XMX as well. I will say that standalone will run better for reasons I don't want to go into at the moment. But as we can see with um, this here, it's actually obviously only using a very small part of the display. And that's because Trax is a so-called compact UI so that it can fit onto here. So what I've also done is actually create another new module for the SSP particularly, which is called Dual. And this allows you to run two at the same time. So if we come into here, we can actually load up Dual. And now you can see we've got now two displays. If we press on the shift here, we can actually now load a module. So I can now actually come down to here and I can select tracks. And I've got tracks here. But I can actually also load track here as well. So for example, if I then here, again, come down to here, um, and then select load. And now you can see I've got two instances of tracks which are independent of each other. Also, what's quite interesting here is we can also see that if we come down to here as well, we can actually load other modules directly into here. So for example, I can load clouds into here. So now we've got actually an instance of track and we've got an instance of clouds here. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the implications of what I've actually shown here. The first is uh, the launcher. The launcher that we've actually got is able to launch any application. So this actually means that we could have different buttons, which we could have uh, different applications on, um, that any developer could actually develop for either the tracks or the SSP and to launch directly. The other thing that I'd like to highlight here is, as we've seen on the SSP here, tracks is actually a plugin. It's a, a module just like any other module. And this actually leads to an interesting part about what's going on in the standalone. And that is that when we actually have the standalone running, what we're actually doing is running a, an instance of this plugin within a host, a host that I've created called Trax Host. And that Trax Host here could actually run any of my plugins. So for example, we could actually run down here as a standalone, run clouds or plats or any of my modules. They could also run purely standalone as well. So we've got a quite a lot of flexibility here. We have my launcher, which is able to now launch any application. We have Trax host, which is a, a simple host, which is able to uh, host any of my plugins and run them standalone. And then thirdly, we've actually got the fact that uh, Synthor is able to load Trax or any of my plugins uh, as well as the Trax host. So we've got quite a lot of different combinations here. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to show today. Um, have a nice day. Bye.